We all do this in the sense of when we try and understand something new, a new problem, a new reality, we try and do so with the framework that we're familiar with. And because people on university campuses in Europe and North America are used to looking and at every single problem through the framework of colonialism and empire, this is what's being uh, imposed on the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. And so in looking at this issue from the outside, it's very easy to look at the people who are sometimes openly identifying as an extension of Western civilization in the Middle East um, and the Oriental Arab Palestinian and say, okay, this is clearly a foreigner and this is clearly indigenous and native. And we know that anybody that's, that's vaguely familiar with Jewish history, with Jewish identity, with the reality here on the ground in Israel understands that it's not so clear cut. In fact, quite the opposite. When you have a reality that more than 60% of Israelis are Mizrahi or African Jews, that the remaining percentage of that population was descended from Jews who were forced to flee as refugees from Europe because they were not considered European enough. They weren't considered white enough to be in those societies. And the reality, this is the part where they're getting right, is that the Jews coming into this land or returning to this land after thousands of years were confronted with the population that was already here. And that population, the Palestinians, has their own aspirations, their own desire for self-determination, for equality, for the things that everybody deserves in this land. And at many junctures in history, including right now, there it's coming in direct contradiction with the desire for Jewish sovereignty and self-determination, even if that was not the intention. And I'm saying it was not the intention of the Zionist founding fathers and mothers. It was not the intention of the state of Israel, but because of a number of circumstances which we can get into, both of these national movements were on a collision course and we're seeing this collision happen again and again and again. What should be clear is that this painful reality of constant collisions between Palestinians and Israelis is not going to be solved by imposing an improper framework of analysis of colonized versus native that has no relevance to this situation.